I don't know what I have done, but I've made the crispiest, soggiest, <laughs> the crispiest, soggiest bacon in the world. What's going on everybody, Waffler here, and I got my Instant Pot back out. I got a pound of meat, a little bit of bacon, and what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to cook spaghetti in, well, I'm gonna cook my meat in spaghetti sauce, so <laughs> that's gonna be kind of wild. So I've got my spaghetti sauce here. We are going with the just straight classico, the Italian sausage variety. So we got a little sausage, a little bacon. Oh my gosh, this is hard to open. Also, it feels kind of greasy. I don't know why. Wow, it's really greasy because I can't. Oh, I got a message. You know what? Come on, baby, there we go. There it is. Ooh, classico. So we're just gonna dump this straight in the book. Don't worry about the drops you saw right there. My dog's gonna lick that out. And look, you got a little jar, put some change in it and rinse that out. We don't, uh, we preserve everything here. We don't throw things away. So I got my tomato sauce in my pound of meat and I'm just gonna slosh, give a little. Hmm, oh, murder scene. Um. What's that show? Forensic files up in this. Look at the blood droplets. The way they fell, it wasn't like the story told. Anyway, enough of all that. Let me put this in the Instant Pot. Do you think that it's gonna cook it? I'm not gonna add water. We're just gonna go straight up sauce steam. Let's see. Oh, oh my. It looks delightful, don't it? All right, so we're gonna ignore all the doo-doo right there because that don't matter. Let's do, I do my typical. I cook this meat kind of typically. So we're gonna go ahead and seven minute on the sauce. Also to add, I have this tofu shirataki um, noodles. They're, uh, I assume keto friendly noodles cause I can't eat noodles cause I'm on a diet cause I've been fat. But uh, so I got these noodles. And I don't know, they kind of look like worms, but what noodles don't. Uh, now I'm disgusted by it and it, uh, now I'm thinking about heartworms. Now no one is gonna watch the video because it's all gross. All right, anyway, anyway. Um, so I got these, so we're gonna throw that into our mix. So let's take a peek really quick cause it just got done. Okay, all right, it's done. Oh my god. Okay. All right. It's piping hot. Okay. Nothing stuck to the bottom. All liquid. I'm going to break these patties up. You know, this is how you do it when you freeze the meat and you want meatballs. Well, we do meat cubes in this house. You know, we're not fancy or anything. We just out here cutting up frozen beef into cubes and putting some noodles in them. So, no water, just the sauce. It looks good. The bacon is not crispy though, but I already knew that was going to happen. I don't care. Because I go the extra mile and I just put it in the, uh, I put it in the air fryer to crisp up. But sometimes, you know, I keep all my bacon frozen, so that's my cross to bear. Now we're going to put them noodles in. Uh oh, a few didn't make it in, but that's okay because that's the bowl I'm eating in. Jostle those noodles around. Oh, y'all. That's looking like some pasta to me. Oh, y'all, sir. Let's mix that up. Try to get the meat to the top more appealing. When it look like it got meatballs in it. And just so you can see, what I do with this is I put the bacon on the tray into my air fryer. And we're just going to put that on fry for a second. All right, now we got the um, tofu noodles with the bacon cubelet. Um, you know, fancy. Um, I wish I had some chi to put on this. All I have is uh, cheddar and I don't think that's going to go well. Oh. If you heard that, my dog just went on the ground to lick up the little drip drops. 
Okay, here we go. Hey. Go ahead, tofu noodles. Dang, for real though? Not too bad. And I love the consistency, like, you don't have to worry about cooking the noodle, waiting for the temp to get just right, just soggy enough. It is al dente. Mm. Um, just so you know, because I know you're wondering, um, was that beef seasoned? Yeah. When I mix it up, I put it in the freezer. I, I do it into eight ounce portions. What I do is I put a bunch of cayenne pepper, black pepper, garlic, onion powder, mm, oh, paprika, all the goodies. And I put a lot, so it's well seasoned. Mm. That's a Cajun patty right there. Mm. Mm -mm. You don't need... One second. Move out of the way. Move. Oh, no, I got a little. Sorry. I have to do my semi-aggressive voice when I tell my dogs, get out of the way. But, um, there we go. Noodles. Yo, that's how I'm going to do them every time. I'm going to cook my meat in that sauce every single time now. I want to do it next time where I put raw noodles in and we see what really happens. But um, my bacon should be done in a moment, so let's take a peek at that. All right, it's about that time. Ooh, it's still sizzling. Oh my God, you look crispy. Let's get those on the camera. All right, so here I am, sizzling and crispy. Oh my God, look at the bubbles on that one. Bubbles on it. Ow! It's hot. They're actually, actually, it's done something very strange. So it's not, it, it's, it's crispy, but, um, it's not, uh, and it's hot AF. Um, I'm gonna pull one out. And uh, I'm gonna put it in longer and see if we can get an actual body to it. Or I'm wondering, since it was boiled, will it forever be flimsy? Now this is science. Let's go back. Okay, so after further investigation, I noticed that the other sides were not crispy. The other sides were still kind of normal. So I'm gonna go the extra mile and I'm gonna dip them one more time, y'all. One more time in the sauce and I'm gonna put them back in, upside down on the uncrisp side. Yeah, we're really doing it. Alrighty, well, it has been enough time. Oops. Oh my, I can't even tell if it's all one blob or not. Let's get that in front of me. May God forgive me for what I have done. I, oh, sorry. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I've made. I kind of, I'm about that life though. Oh, did you see my dirty floor? Oops. <laughs> um, I don't know what I have done, but I've made the crispiest, soggiest, <laughs> the crispiest, soggiest bacon in the world. I didn't know. Oh, it's falling apart crispy, soft and jiggly. Uh, I don't even know. Let me, um, take a, let me, I'm so scared this is going to burn my mouth. Let me take a taste. Wow, it's tender. Who would have thought? It's great. I see you. Mmm. I taste you, and I see you, and I... Everything you're doing, everything you're doing to me. This is just like an, in, you're not going to find things like this on YouTube, y'all. This is why you come to the Waffles place. You come to the Waffles 69 for the, uh, for the bacon. Let's try this one. Ow. Ooh. 
my goodness. It's like that crispy bacon that you want. Well, crispy bacon flavor. Like, it's caramelized, caramelized. It's got something to it. And it's super soft. Like, geez, Louise. I'm just imagining, like, if you made a soup and put this in there and blended this. Because I know that you can blend this up into a mush. Blend that up. It would just add so much. That didn't look appetizing. But promise me, <laughs> you blend up, it would add so much flavor to that soup. Mm. Also, another thing I would do was, mm, I would take just regular bacon. I would do it thawed bacon, put it in the tomato sauce, and cook it that way. Because I think I might be onto something with this cooking in tomato sauce thing. Don't take my word for it. I'm just saying, go and dip it in some tomato sauce and cook it. Um, but and try it just do it for fun um, anyway like I said get y'all some bacon some tomato sauce uh, put the tomato sauce in the instant pot when you cook your food that's another tip don't put water it didn't need it it was juicy enough so that's my little tip trick hack uh, y'all have a good evening oh. so good